I grew up probably half a mile from the sea. That's where I spent the first 20 years. You know, my dad worked in the dockyards. Everyone's dad in Plymouth worked in the dockyards. And when you left school, you went to the dockyards. When I didn't live by the sea, I felt lost. Even in a directional sense. What I love about Plymouth is that I know where South is. At all times in my life, I know where I am in a very literal sense. The portraits are, I suppose, the every man, the every person. So in some sense, they're a generic person. And in some ways, they're self-portraits. You know, I'm painting the inner person. I think maybe the relationship between the sea or water or the ocean and self-consciousness and consciousness are interesting. Yeah, the ocean has a calmness. It can change very quickly. It has a, like, a, like a power. And I want my paintings to have the same calmness, but some turmoil underneath. There is a collision. The thing that excites me in painting is the collision. I try to allow the paint to have its own life, make its own decisions. I want to be reminded of possibility. Consciousness is such an undefined thing. Everything seems to have an answer, but you can't really answer or define what this moment is and you can't define when it begins and ends because it's essentially never ending. I'm at the edge of, of the present, just before I paint, and then that's what I try and capture. That, and that fascinates me. I want this to feed back into my paintings. I want my paintings to have a sense of presence, immediacy, so that time is definitely is very important in the painting. I can't paint what I want. I can't capture an essence of, of reality, of now, of experience. And that's what maybe keeps me painting. And that's what maybe will keep me always painting is because I know that around the corner is a possibility that I capture experience somehow.